Hi everyone, it is time for me to set up my work planner for June, June, yes, June of 2023. And I'm gonna just say right up front, I have neglected the shit out of my planner this last month. I am only halfway through the month so far and I still have some more time left. So I did leave myself some space, but literally I haven't touched it except to pick out the colors for this video. I've used my notion to basically get me by, but I have been limping through work the last couple of weeks. It's like I had my moment at the end of April where I uh, was called as a backup for transplant and then didn't wind up getting it, but it basically derailed me for like three days and that derailment has la lasted so far into May. So I definitely need to work on it, though I have some hope that of catching up. I'm actually feeling pretty good about catching up right now. So I did leave myself some space, but neglected the shit out of my planner. I neglected this part. And then I definitely neglected filling this tracker in. Didn't do it at all, except for at the very, very beginning of the month. And that was a catch up. Like on that day, I went back and I caught up. So some thoughts definitely about how I'm going to be using this. But generally speaking, though, I have a lot of work to get done in June. There's a lot of things going on. I've got some fun things happening. I've got some side projects picking up. I want to finish my series three of fuckery flowers, like the painting, which I'm trying to catch up on right now. So definitely, definitely, I sound like Rain Man. Definitely need to do some real thinking about not, it's not about using my planner. It's about getting my work done and whether the planner is going to help me. And the planner does help me with that when I'm trying to get work done. It's just, I have been so head in my sand about a lot of things that I just haven't. And so I'm going to try and shake myself of some neglect and get moving on it. And we're going to start with that. The theme I'm going to use for this month is sea turtles as voted on by my patrons. If you're more interested in that, you can check out my Patreon. I've got these colors and I'm using the Koi coloring brush pens because I'm trying to use my shit that I don't usually use. And these guys are the ones I'm using this month. They have a nice, firm, big brush tip, right? So I've got these bluey teals, a green and a gray. I really like these colors. They're not the colors of sea turtles. They're kind of the colors I pulled from around like the tropicalness of the sea turtles, but I really like them. And then for my musical that I'm going to use for quotes this month, I'm going to go with Les Mis because the day I'm filming this is the day before we go see it. And I fucking love Les Mis. This will be the second time I've seen it on stage. We're going to start with my calendar. So this last month I wanted to just try simple tracker, but because I haven't been using my planner at all, it's been kind of ignored. So this next month, what I want to do is because, especially since I'm going to be doing the HB90 bootcamp this month is just start tracking how many task blocks I use on a given day, not in which section or whatever, just basically how many half hour Pomodoros I do in a day of work. And other than that, I'm just going to get this sucker set up. The washi tape I am using PS is an old target washi tape, like from the dollar spot back when it was the dollar spot. I know, right? I know. Amazing. It's like an antique. I'm amazed it still sticks. Knock on wood. <laughs> and the pens I'll be using are the Uni Pin Fine Liners. I decided to keep it super simple this month. Put the washi tape down and then wrote down how many time blo task blocks per day. And then I used one of my Koi markers to just give a little blob on each day to put the marker in or the number in. Did a couple of really basic sea turtle doodles because I just didn't have a lot of space and didn't really feel like getting super artsy with it. And then I, my quote is from the song Stars. Javert is my favorite character in Les Mis. And I love his songs, which is why we don't talk about Russell Crowe. I did skip a section of the lyric. I put stars in your multitude. Scarce to be counted is the part I skipped. And then filling darkness with order and light. I love that song. And then I decided to go in with my point one pen and write in the dialysis days, at least the way that we do them right now and I put in the cake concert and I'm going to add in anything that happens on a day that is like bigger that may impact what how many task blocks I use for work. You know, a concert like cake might not impact my work day because it's in the evening, but it might. So I just want to kind of have an idea when I glance at this. Anyway, let's go to May. Before I do, I do want to put in my tabs for March, April, for April, May and June because I didn't do that the last couple of months and I don't like the look. So let's First go to April, I'm just gonna throw these tags in right quick and then get started on May. It's gonna, or June, I don't even know what month it is. That's how fucked I am right now with how my life is going. I just have no idea what in the actual hell is happening. 
look at this. In March, I used the shit out of my planner. So, do they overlap? They do. I just have to look. I'm really bad at putting these tabs on. I will tell you, this is not something I have gotten any better at. And honestly, with my uh, rate of planner neglect, I don't know if I'll ever get better at it. Which is okay, right? I guess it's okay. So we'll go to May. See, I neglected some of the end of April too. I'm just, I'm, I'm a neglector. I am a fucking planner neglector. Okay, so this is where I'm going to give myself, I'm only giving myself like 10 or 11 pages or so of extra breathing room for May. So I should be fine. We will see. But I'm going to take this guy. I'm just going to put it on first. I was going to say, I'll wait till I'm done. But no, that's what I've been doing. And I haven't been fucking putting the tabs on. So here we go. June. If I thought I could estimate what I was doing with my with my months, I probably would just put them all in at once. But obviously, I have no idea how I'm actually going to be using my planner because I'm so neglectful. And I know I keep beating myself. I don't feel bad. I'm like, whatever, dude. Life is life. But I feel kind of silly sometimes when I'm making YouTube videos. I'm like, this is what I'm doing. And then you look and you're like, Cindy, did you actually do anything or did you just do it for the gram? I was like, well, I didn't do it for the gram, but I still didn't do anything. It's like the opposite of not doing it for the gram. I thought I was going to use this blue, but I guess I'm not. Okay. So for June, the Les Mis quote I've got is a little fall of rain can hardly hurt me now because that's another one of my favorite songs from Les Mis. I'm just going for the sad. I'm going for the sads. I do want to put in my budget spot and I also want to um, put in a spot to remind myself that even though I am behind right now on my fuckery flowers I do want to let's do some artsiness here I do want to uh, get them done before the end of June because I want to get myself a um, walking pad for under my desk and my it's my reward is coming as a result of me getting my fuckery flowers done this quarter so i'm not there yet i'm currently behind on my plan but we shall see i'm just gonna do a couple of these i think that looks kind of neat looks kind of kind of nifty For a second, I thought I spelled budget wrong. I did get a question on a recent video and I did not have the chance to answer it in the comments, but I will answer it here. Uh, somebody asked for your work budget. If it doesn't roll over, what do I do with it? It just gets absorbed back into my business bank account. So any money I don't spend just, I have not actually, this budget is meant, is meant for my no spend, my hundred dollar, um, which I will write in here right now, my hundo, my one hundo that I allow myself to spend each month. And I'm actually going to start letting it roll over after this month in starting in June so that I have um, the money in the budget to buy what I want for the Moxie Life release because I'm not in the Moxie Life and the uh, Sterling Inc. potentially because as things stand right now, I don't anticipate using a different planner next year. Maybe a different... Maybe a different work planner and like Mahobo Nietzsche or something else, something similar to this. But currently my, um, my plan is to use the same basic shit I'm using this year. I do want to let that roll over so I have a little bit more in the work. But I mean, technically I did say I could buy my planners for next year. But when it comes to the launches, I'd like to buy some more stuff potentially. There's my little budget for expenses and for cost. That's my work. But anyway, the point being is that generally speaking, I just absorb it back into my work budget, but I will be rolling over for um, my planner launches for the, not my planner, but the planners I plan to really take a look at in the fall.
I decided rather than trying to draw a generic sea turtle, I did my best drawing of Squirt from Finding Nemo. Dude, fucking love him so much. And then I added the quote, a little fall of rain across, along the bottom and then put my reminder of my reward in the big bubble. So this is my June setup. It's a really quick video. Honestly, I didn't want to spend a lot of time on it because if I do continue my cycle of planner neglect, I don't want to have spent a bunch of time on something I'm not going to use. If I do get back into using it, I'll probably put some more time in it for July. But currently, I'm just trying to keep it fun and make it something I want to return to. So that's that's my hope. Sometimes making something fun is a reason for me to use my planner when I'm feeling a little neglectful of it, especially when I should be using it to make my life easier. So we'll see if this works. Do you have any tips for getting back to something when you are really struggling with it, whether it's planner or otherwise? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, my friends, peace.